Hello everyone, I'm Chris and in today's video I will show you how to program this tiny small microcontroller using Arduino IDE. So let's get started. While searching for the smallest Arduino friendly microcontroller that I could get, I found this 80 tiny 10 of package size SOT23 and it comes with 6 pads. Probably the most popular tiny MCU is the 80 tiny 85 but it's not as small as the Tiny 10, which is also widely available for reasonable price. At the beginning, I thought it easy to interface with this MCU using Arduino IDE, but finally, this wasn't so easy and this is why I made this video to clarify the appropriate path that at least worked for me. Searching the internet, I moved through the Tiny Core, which is a very popular core for Tiny AVRs, to make them supported for Arduino programming. Unfortunately, it doesn't support the Tiny 10 MCU, and considering the 80 Tiny Core authors, they have no intentions to include the Tiny 10 to their offered core. Yet, you still can use this core with some other Tiny AVRs, and I highly recommend it. Looking elsewhere, I noticed that you could achieve a non volatile memory programming of the Tiny 10 through an application called 80 Tiny 10 IDE. The name sounds promising because it's purely oriented for the Tiny 10. But this is something other than Arduino IDE, so this is not exactly the solution that we are looking for. Even asking ChatGPT for the most suitable way would not solve the problem, because the AI told me to use ISP programming, which is completely wrong, because the Tiny10 MCU has no ISP pins. Then finally, I landed on this solution, which seems Arduino friendly and it worked for someone already. This old post from Kazaka Lab explained how to achieve a successful programming of the Tiny 10, so I decided to follow the steps, but wait, don't go too fast, because even the solution has some tricks, and I will show you the necessaries around it. So first, there will be no serial programming because the Tiny 10 doesn't include SPI communication port, so basically no way to program it through ISP, and this way we will not use USB ASP as external programmer, but instead, we will use TPI, which stands for Tiny Programming Interface, a specific programming protocol featured by Microchip on some low-end 8 mal AVR microcontrollers, including the Tiny 10. It gives access to device lock bits, the program flash memory, the signature, the configuration and calibration section, so basically we will get full access to the Tiny 10 ports through this TPI. It uses three pins of the Tiny 10, the reset, TPI clock, and TPI data. If we are not using the serial programmer, then what we will use to upload program to Tiny 10? First, you need to bring the Tiny 10 MCU to the listed boards of Arduino IDE by referring to this preferences path that you can copy it from the description of this video. Then go to Boards Manager and search for Bitduino. To install the Tiny 10 board, that will appear to the available boards. Then I uploaded this programming sketch to my Arduino Uno to make it as a programmer for my Tiny10. I prepared this breadboard friendly breakout board for the Tiny10 microcontroller and got it with some other breakout boards delivered together for $2 from JLC PCB. I soldered the Tiny10 to its breakout board. And we are now ready to wire it to UNO for first program upload. Based on the microchip datasheet, we will need 220 ohm resistors placed in between the serial programming pin, connecting MISO MOSI pins of UNO pin 11 and 12, to TPI data pin D0 of Tiny10 through 220 ohm resistors. And the same for clock pin of UNO pin number 13, to TPI clock pin D1 of Tiny10, and the same for the reset pin number 10 of UNO to reset pin number 6 of Tiny10. Then I connected my UNO to computer through USB and set the Tiny10 as target board and select the port to which I connected my UNO. I compiled an empty sketch to upload it for test, but here I got some compiling issues. It's not related to hardware connection, but this is something with the Arduino IDE. 
Considering the Kazaka Lab note saying that the offered core will not compile for Arduino versions newer than 1.8.9, and despite that I'm using the 1.8.9 version of Arduino, the code's still not compiling. I tried older versions but still facing the same problem. And this is because I was using a newer version of Arduino before installing the 1.8.9, so basically the newly AVR GCC will remain installed for AVR boards, so we must drop down its version too. And here is how I done it. First go to Boards Manager and search for Arduino AVR Boards, then select the version 1.6.23, which is the version bundled with the Arduino 1.8.9 version and updated. This way you get the AVR GCC updated for the AVR Boards, and after restarting the Arduino IDE, I get my sketch successfully compiled for Tiny10 MCU. I wrote this quick test sketch to blink an LED through digital pin number 2, and it works perfectly. I also tried analog write for PWM writing on pin D0, and it also worked very well. The microcontroller has analog inputs as well, and it could be used for several basic applications. The small flash memory is not truly a limit, depending on the purpose of use, and considering the microcontroller price and availability, it could be a good choice for many applications. That's it for today guys, you can drop some comments about this topic and suggest some projects to be designed around the Tiny10. If you have some specific questions, feel free to write them in the comment section. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris, see you next time. <music>